Are you crazy? Because I sure am. And right here for you, I got a massive package from eBay recently. I went on, won an auction of 2,500 plus Vanguard cards. Supposedly 2,500 plus. The only thing I've done since I got this box was tape a piece of paper over the addresses. <laughs> but uh, this, this is going to be my first point opening it. I just, I really just want to get into this. This video is going to be very, very long. I had to contain myself. I had to eat lunch. I'd be good about that. All before. So this is Card Fight Crazy. Doing a massive package opening. I see a lot of these for Magic. I see a lot of these for Pokemon. I see a lot of these for Yu-Gi-Oh! I never really see any big eBay opening lots for Vanguard. And the thing is, I love to watch them. But I just don't play Magic or Yu-Gi-Oh! or Pokemon. Well, I mean, I play Magic a little bit, but not nearly to the degree that I play Vanguard. So I just had to, had to take this in. All right. Oh, oh man. I don't know how this is going to be sorted. I don't know if it's even going to be good. I mean, I am expecting tons upon tons upon tons of comments. <laughs> but I'm hoping that somewhere in here is a little bit of, a little bit of good stuff. A little bit of good stuff. Oh, so that's that's what it looks like. <laughs> All right. I just want to go through. Now there is supposed to be two decks. Two decks. Uh, four. And the two decks are supposed to be a Token Ronbu and Shadow Paladin. And I think they're gonna be in here. And they said they're supposed to be sleeved. All right, well, what's that? Now it said that, uh, the seller said they never looked through it. So, I mean, I'm just gonna start with these sleeves. This is actually not Token Ranbu or anything else. Right here, we have Dark Irregulars. We got Great great Demon, Soulless Demagogue, with Love Tempest, Kiss Kill Liara. Oh, it's Legion build. Legion build, Psychic of Ash, Hot R. Yeah, usual starter for my deck as well. Yeah, I, apparently there was also extras thrown in. And this looks like it could be one bit to the extra. Skullmaker Vampire. I needed that for my Dark Irregular build. Echo of Nemesis. Crease Vampire. Oh man, I'm just shaking with excitement. It could be a lot, a lot of crap. But it's just nice to open 2,500 cards. Alice of Nightmare Land. And starting it off with a deck that's, yeah, playable. <laughs> Not that great, but it's playable. I never really used this uh, Legion. It was a promo Legion. The Psychic of Ash Hadar with the Psychic of Dust. Hmm. Yeah, not bad. Uh, Alright, here's the token Ronbu. Yep, so that was, that was an extra, extra deck thrown in here. I've never, never even seen, uh, never seen Token Rambu cards in person. So we got, oh, uh, Quintet Wall. Grade 3, Counterblast 1 with unit attacks. You can pay the cost, you get plus 15k. If you have a rear guard in the front row that is standing, this unit cannot attack. <laughs> well, now. Yeah, the decks uh, said they were complete, you know, they were they were playable and usable, no idea what was in them, but, huh. Alright, 10k beater. Counterblast 1 when this unit is placed on rear guard. This unit gets plus 4k until end of turn. Alright. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I've never never played with Token Ronbo. I've never played against it. I have no idea if 
this is really anything special. <laughs> I doubt it is. Oh man, yeah. Alright, so what's what's this in the sleeve? We got a few more. Three more copies of a starter. Put it in the soul. Choose two of your units with the Shinken Hisatsu ability and they get plus 3k until end of turn. Hmm. Alright, we'll just slide those back in. <laughs> Alright, and the final one, this should be the Shadow Paladin deck. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. So, which uh, decipher of prohibited books? Oh, wait, this. Which of Banquet's Lear? Oh, come on. Come on. Where's the grade three? Where's the lead? There's the mate. There's the mate. Which of reality? Oh, come on. Oh, which of comets? Not the one I wanted. Witch of Comets. Again, Witch of Comets. Oh, and hey. Etain. So, yep, not the Legion I was hoping for. Witch of Comets again. I was looking for... Oh, I can't remember her name, but the one that goes with Rich of Reality Foam. So... Yeah. It's nice, because I do want to build witches, so there's a pretty good amount of it. You know, there's a lot of core core deck parts here. Okay, um, which stack to just, which, which stack to start with? This one's massive. Um, start with one of these smaller ones. I really, really doubt there's going to be much that's great in here. A lot of bulk, but I did not spend much on this. All right, this looks like I saw Nova Grappler. Yep, yep, yep. Beast Deity Rescue Bunny to start us off on top. Turbo Riser. Three copies of that. Battle Riser, three copies of him. Almighty Reporter, Tough Boy, Playset with a clay doll mechanic in the middle. Yep, a lot of commons, Shining Lady. Oh, hey, Red Lightning. Always use Red Lightning. Oh, there's more Rescue Bunny. So, yep. No, no, no. What else is special here? Anything that I'd use? If I were doing Nova Grapplers, I'd do Beast Deities and just go back to like uh, Infinite Hell. Because <laughs> that was just fun for me. I just like those those combos that go on seemingly forever. Extreme Leader Musashi. Hmm. Draw Trigger. Uh, Drone Baron. And Tank Riser. Extreme Leader. Just a lot of bulk, unsurprisingly. Starlight Hedgehog to finish that off. Okay, oh, I see uh, another Nova Grappler peeking out, so that's where I'll go next. And then let's just put these down this way. I'll just flip through and I'll just have to just pick some. All right. <laughs> so I doubt this is gonna be really anything special of a video. The decks, I figured the decks were kind of gonna set up what kind of a massive unboxing this would be. And as the decks are nothing special, then I figured the rest of this would be nothing special too. And it, it's gonna look, it's looking like that way. Extreme Battler Hajimal to start us off. Oh, hey, Energy Girl. The Generation Break Stand Trigger for Nova, Gribbler, Nova Grappler. <laughs> At the end of the battle that it boosted, choose one of your other rear guards. You may stand it. If you do, return Energy Girl to the deck. That's nice. I mean, just from an outsider's perspective. You know, I like it. Of course, I like stand triggers, and I like being able to re-stand rear guard. Oh, we switch into Shadow Paladin. 
Oh, there's some Royal right there. Cyber Golf Seeker. And Gigantic Ringer. Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit. Alright, let me switch into Shadow Paladins with Demon World Castle. Toad Watcher. Another Demon World Castle. Avenger Waking Angel. Oh, hey, which is familiar. Happy to have that. More Demon World Castle material. I remember when I was thinking about this video that I was going to do with this 2500 collection, I was like, you know, I'm going to take my time and go through it all. And it's just, no, once you, once you get to the point, you realize, oh, yeah, there's really not much reason to. You know what's here. You know what's here. Here, let me just zoom in for a little bit more. There we go. That'll fix it all. That's a better angle for it. Now I can just uh, just hold them out here. Yeah, there's uh, Revengers. It doesn't look like too much important. You know, there's nothing. Oh, eh, fin, I guess. That's nice. Limit Break Removers are nice. Night Sky Eagle. Comes on 11k for one turn. Nine of Diligence. 8k beaters are nice. And the Generation Break Stand Trigger. There for Shadow Paladin. Ah, Cursed Eye Raven. Rest this unit and put this unit on top of your deck. Shuffle your deck. Look at two cards from the top. Search for up to two cards from among them to call them to separate open rear guard as rest. But the rest of the cards on the bottom of your deck in any order. At the end of that turn, retire the units called with this effect. Well, you would have wiped them before that. Wow, there is a lot of them. Promising Knight David. And what's at the back here? More 8k beater with another team in World Castle. Yeah, we can feel it. We can feel it. It was... Eh, I'm still... I mean, overall, I paid 70 bucks for this whole thing. And if you do that, if it is what it says it is, which is 2,500 or 2,500 plus, as the, uh, the actual listing put it, then you have 2.8 cents per card which is a very, very good deal. And that I'm totally okay with. I am greatly, I am completely okay with buying bulk for 2.8 cents per card. If you buy 2,500 cards from, you know, say your local store that does 25 cent commons, you'd spend, uh, I think it was $625. So spending 550 less, I see one foil. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Construction is going on in the uh, apartment below mine because they had cockroaches. And so they're knocking out a lot of the walls and just taking care of that. And so that's going to be beating on, but that's going to keep going on for a while. So I don't really have much of a choice when it comes to it. So oh, the foil does not look like it's going to be anything great. So we're starting off with Brawler Fighting Draco Kid. Oh, hey, Skype Tarot, Queen of Hearts. Silverthorn, Rising Dragon, Silver Blaze, Machine Gun Gloria, Burning Scale Knight, Elliewood. This looks like it's rare, so then we're going back to Trial Deck 5. Slaygall, Double Edge, and Knight of Afterglow, Gerard. <laughs> oh yeah, this guy. He, well, I mean, not, not a terrible promo. Uh, used in a Pelinor deck, you know, not a, not a bad idea with Pelinor. Uh, because Lemon Break 4 on Vanguard, when the attack hits a Vanguard, look at up to three cards from the top of your deck, search for up to one grade three gold paladin from among them, call it to open rear guard, and put the rest on the bottom of your deck in any order. If I were doing Pelinor, which I would love to make a classic Pelinor build, I'd probably use this guy. I don't know, maybe. Never really looked too much into it, I just always thought it'd be cool to have one. So, that's nice. <laughs> Brutal Joker. Uh, promo, no grabs, Muscle Riser, let's get moving. Ah, Brutal Jack. I'm glad to have Brutal Jack, no matter what. <laughs> Always and forever am I happy to have Brutal Jack. Oh, I love it. Armored Heavy Gunner, Savage King, Twin Swordsman, Musashi. Truth Seeking, Stealth Rogue, Makusa. Oh, Demonic Hairstyle Throw Grenjin. That's good. 
It's actually useful for me. Gigarex. Law Official Locks. Tank Mouse. Knight of Great Spear. I mean, I'm going to make a lot of bulk decks out of this. And I'm going to have a lot of decks for a lot of clans out of this. Guard Griffin. Happy to have Guard Griffin, just like Brutal Jack. <laughs> just always. It's just nostalgia. I see something in my eye. Peekaboo! Oh, yeah, Peekaboo. BTL7. Soul Blast at the end of your main phase. From the Soul. Soul Blast. At the beginning of your main phase, if you have a Pale Moon Vanguard, you may pay the cost. If you do, then call Peekaboo to the rear guard. Then at the beginning of your end phase, put Peekaboo into your soul. Uh, that's just from his rearguard skill, so if you call him from hand, you gotta put him in soul too. And that's nice to have. Another, another, uh, that was BTO7 double R at that point. 8Ks. Muscle Shriek. I've never seen this card. Oh, GBTO1 rare, yeah. <laughs> and. Hollow Nomad. So, maybe not entirely bulk. I mean, you know, not much value, but uh, just, I mean, I like just having Brutal Jack and Guard Griffin. I like just having them. Uh, this one. This one, this one, yep. Oh, where's the other one? I gotta remember to stay in camera, stay in frame, all that. There we go. Right. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> With it. Another stack. Alright, let's just let's just get moving on it. <sighs> we are at 17 minutes so far. Fervor Liberator. Yeah, I'm okay with 17 minutes so far. Hey, slay me! I already run the two copies that I like. Camarcus. I use him. Little Liberator Marin. <laughs> And yeah, a lot of bulk decks will be made out of this. A lot of bulk to trade, you know. It's just, it's nice to have, because now you can, with a collection like this, which is Breakle, you know, semen to be completely just commons, rares, you know, not worth much promos. It's nice to just have them, you know, in my opinion. Because you can test out a lot of clans that way. You know, you won't get a huge sense of what it can do, but you'll get a general sense of the clan. A lot of slay me. <laughs> a lot of slay me. Oh my gosh. Um, that one. Yep, this one. Oh, it's already peeking out. So, I mean, I'm happy to have this, especially for 2.8 cents per card. That's that's a steal no matter what I'm getting. Little Liberator Marin to start us off. I see upside down cards. <laughs> there we go. And Provision Liberator was the first to be upside down. Um. <laughs> yeah, I totally get why people go through them. Oh. Egg Prison Seal Dragon Knight. Put this unit into your soul and choose a card from your hand and discard it. If you have a Kagero Vanguard, draw a card. His act from Rear Guard Circle. Kagero, 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 Kagero. I mean, I doubt I'm going to find much useful. Oh, Kagero's over. <laughs> now into Royals. Lunar Crescent Knight, Felox. Security Jewel Knight, Wayne. Act, rear guard. Choose a grade 3 with Ashley in its name from your drop zone. Put it on the bottom of your deck. If you have a Royal Paladin Vanguard, choose one of your grade 3 units with Ashley in its card name, and it gets plus 5k. Huh. Oh, Epona. <laughs> Epona. <laughs> Damn you, Epona. Aichi. Always sacking Epona. Always, always, always. Stacks are getting. I'll probably, yeah, I'm gonna 
Hold on a sec here. I'm moving the decks back into their makeshift box. The uh, PVC style? Yeah, that's what I think it is, PVC style boxes. Definitely best for holding parts. Yeah. Put the decks back. Yeah, I figured the decks were gonna set the tone for this, and I still still think I'm right. Oh, I see grade one Galahad. I'm hoping that the uh, you know some really good stuffs hanging there at the bottom, but I just just gotta doubt it. Uh, Sanctuary Archer into Nova Grappler again. Hate Arm Leprechaun, Lion at Heat, Stand Trigger, Pluto Blau Kluger. Whoa, Aura Baller. So many. Oh, Frogmaster. That's helpful, at least. You know. Throw that in a throw that on beast ED deck nowadays. That's what I'll do. And then oh, two more copies. Night of Quests, Galahad. Ah, just this one. Might as well. Ah. Yeah, of course I'm a little disappointed, but not all that much. I wasn't expecting anything. That's my big thing, is that, well, I'm a little saddened. I wouldn't actually say I'm disappointed, because I wasn't expecting to get really anything. Night of Silence, Galatine. I was expecting to get roughly 2,500 cards, which... Whoa, man, I don't think I really want to count them. Solitary Night, Gancelot, is what it seems like I have, and they are all in good condition. Yeah, I haven't found one that I noticed a big mark or a big problem with yet. Oh, hey, Grade 2 Galahad, Knight of Tribulations. That's nice. I like Galahad Chain. Um, this stack's really tall. So, why wait? Why wait? Yeah, that's a that's a good answer. Why? That's a they're a good question. Why wait? <laughs> because I'm horrible at getting these things open. That might be the reason as to why to wait. Let's see, angel feather unit on the bottom there. Okay, wow, this stack is <laughs> dropping it. Just dropping it. Dropping cards. Dropping, dropping. All right. Oracle Think Tank. Blue scale deer. Like, I don't have enough Oracle Think Tank already. <laughs> My gosh. Yep, I have Marshmallow. I have Asuva. I have Gemini. I have a million Dark Cats. Oh! Then we're switching off. We got Dokube. And my buddy, Emissary Crow. I love the skill on Emissary Crow. Generation Break 1, when he intercepts, you search the deck for up to three. Stealth Beast, Emissary Crow, call them to rear guard circle of rest, shuffle your deck, and until end of that battle, the units that you superior call, or yeah, superior guard with, uh, when this unit is put into the drop zone from Guardian Circle, put this card on the bottom of your deck. So if you get it perfectly, then you can have a 2,000 shield intercept, a 1500 shield intercept, and a 1000 shield intercept. So it's nice. It is really nice. Then Charcoal Fox, Yunayuki, there we go, Limit Break Remover, Onifundo, Onihundo, that's perfect, and Hidden Scroll, one of the best generation break stand triggers. From rear guard, put him on top of the deck when this unit is placed on rear guard. You may pay the cost. If you do, choose one of your rear guards not named Stealth Dragon Hidden Scroll. Search your deck for up to two cards with the same name as that unit. Call them to separate rear guard self of your deck. And at the end of the turn, put those units called with the effect 
on the bottom of your deck in any order. You're gonna wipe those guys from the board, put them back in your deck anyway, because you hit Homer or Raider, and it's just, it's perfect. Or you can do Fujino. You can do Fujino in the combo with the one that allows units to attack from the back row. And that's that's a great one. Grandfall, I have so many copies of her. The Nail, Finer, yep, yep, yep. RTT is my main clan. <laughs> So let me separate out. Oh, one copy of Fujina. I didn't actually notice that. So OTT, OTT, OTT. I see Shadow Paladin in my hand now. All right, Demon World Castles, self control. Rocky, the Demon World Castle strides not uh, not that bad from what I remember hearing about it. I've never actually seen it. Uh, played or anything. I think there's one. I don't remember. Twin Swordsman Musashi again. Goemon. Cursed Lancer. Lake Diver. I like Lake Diver. Another <laughs> very helpful card. Dropping him. Just multiple times. Just dropping him. Another very helpful card. Because. Counterblast 1, when this unit is placed on rearguard, you may pay the cost. If you do, search your deck for up to 2 Lake Diver. Call them to separate rearguard, shelf your deck, and at the end of the turn, put those units call to the effect on the bottom of your deck in any order. But of course, you'll wipe them for Homer or Raider. You just call out Lake Diver and you can activate Homer or Raider so long as you have the copies in your deck. It just requires a generation break 1 and a cost of 1 Counterblast. Very, very nice. Another Grenjin. Another Dokubei. Another Demon World Castle. Another Demon World Castle. <laughs> oh man. Confidence Celestial, the Limit Break Remover for Celestial, and Medical Bomber Nurse. <sighs> now my hands are just shaking because they always do. Not with anticipation anymore. I'm happy to get a lot of bulk. And I gotta admit, for 2.8 cents, I am I'm still very happy that all these cards look in really good condition. Lover of Hearts, Penaletta, Bermuda Triangle, Alice of Nightmare Land, Alice of Nightmare Land. Oh, the Amon Critical Trigger, Amon's Follower, Grossum. He's very awesome. Because when you soul charge him, when he's put into the soul due to an effect from one of your cards, if the number of cards in your soul is six or more, counter blast an Amon, and your opponent chooses one of his or her rear guards and retires it. Lunatic Masquerade, Crise Vampire, Endless Boozer, Alice of Nightmare Land, Monochrome of Nightmare Land. My favorite generation break stand trigger just because I use it so much. So, from rear guard, if the requirement of generation break one, put this unit on top of your deck. Shuffle your deck, soul charge one, then if the number of cards in your soul is six or more, choose a card from your damage zone, turn it face up. But then because you put Amon in there, turn it face down again, counterblast it again, and retire. Uh, make your opponent retire one of these units. And then if the cards in your soul is ten or more, draw a card. I have so many times used Monochrome of Nightmare Land, drawn into Monochrome of Nightmare Land, drawn into Monochrome of Nightmare Land and gotten up to 15 cards in the soul. Amon's Follower, Barmaid, Grace. Another good one, Counterblast 1 and Rest. If you have an Amon Vanguard, Soul Charge 2, then choose one of your units with Amon in its card name. It gets continuous plus 1,000 for each card in your soul. You're gonna have a lot of cards in your soul. Target Regulars, Flutter Ordinas. All right, then we're moving into Golds. Again, yep. Yep, 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 yep. More Dark Irregular, Commons, oh, Farloon. Lady Gunner of the Neutron Star. That's nice. It's yeah, alright. It is a grade 3. That's my biggest problem with that, that card. Wouldn't want it as a Vanguard, so I don't want to run it. It's a rear guard because I don't want any grade threes in my deck that I don't want as Vanguard. Oh, better a Knight Down Volley. A lot of people use that in a Gurgawit build. 
I used the brake ride. <laughs> because, you know, I, I like the ability to brake ride. I still love them. Gigantic Ringer. Okay, this one's been looking up. 30 minutes now. We probably skip to the ending of this. I'll pull out five or six cards at most, unless something happens here in the next however long it's going to take, and I really doubt something's going to happen here. You can always hope. You always hope that you stumble upon something magical. Uh, instead, you stumble upon what I've been telling myself I've been getting this whole time. 2,500 cards for 2.8 cents each, which I'm I'm happy to get. You know, right now, I just wish there was more than it in it. <laughs> I wish there was more than that in it. So I'm just I'm skipping all cards for now. I'm just, no, oh, we do have a BTO 7 double R again, School Dominator Act. <laughs> really bent. BTO 7 double R, Magician of Quantum Mechanics. The moon. Never seen this card. Rear guard, counterblast one and put this unit in your soul. If you have a pale moon vanguard, choose a card other than choose a pale moon card other than Magician of Quantum Mechanics from your soul. Call this a rear guard at the beginning and end phase. Put that unit in your soul. If you put that unit into your soul this way, choose a card named Magician of Quantum Mechanics from your soul and call it a rear guard. Huh. It allows you to tutor out anything from your soul that you want. It's really, oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, Prism, Prom uh, Prism Promise Princess Celtic. Duo Lovely Devil, Duo Lovely Devil. Paper. Oh man, these are. Yeah, these ones are. Then we go back to. That's okay, you can put them in a top loader or something and. You can straighten them out. You can. Bermuda Triangle, Bermuda Triangle, Token Rendezvous. I'll have to play a few games with that token Rambu deck just to see what it's like. <sighs> well, when you pay only 70 bucks for it, the auction started at 70 bucks. Yeah, I gotta I gotta note that. I looked at the seller, I saw that the seller had sold a lot of Vanguard stuff in the past, but nothing recently. There was nothing to indicate that the rares and triple R's or all that stuff was taken out of this because there was no other listings going on at the same time. So, you know, maybe maybe it's listed now. <laughs> there was no lying or anything. It was just a 2,500 plus card collection. Listed at 70 bucks. I, you know, I did the math. I was like, all right, yeah, if I can... If I get exactly nothing that I use, well, I mean, I'm going to use quite a lot of this stuff. I'm going to build a deck out of every clan that's in here. They're just going to be very, very basic decks. Then I'm cool with that. You know, of course, except for the ones that I have. You know, the darker regulars, I don't need to build a deck for. I already got that. The OTT, I already got a deck for that. The Gold Paladin, I already got a deck for that. Uh, shadows, I'll build a Shadow Paladin deck. It's nice that, I mean, that's actually considerably nice, is that a lot of it is witch-based for Shadow specifically, because that's the build that I want to do. And I'll go through and I'll sort all this later. Token Ronvu, clan I never had, clan I've never had interest in having, and, you know, so it's nice to just have it through something like this. I'm just, I'm just cutting through now. <laughs> it's always, you know, before it comes, you, you speculate in your mind. You're like, you know, what could be in there? And well, there could be a lot of things. You know, something like this. There's another collection I'm looking at, which is, which showcases a lot of the cards that are in it. It's $300, so no. Spending only 70 bucks on this, that was, that's where this came in. Mm -hmm. 
just for seventy dollars for all this, that's that's what I'm all right with. That's what I like. Which in Genesis. Oh, I see the Regalia Limit Break Remover. <laughs> now, when you're buying a big lot like this, never go in, you know, with your happiness of the lot being based on, you know, if you pull something, if you pull something of value, like, you know, I could come in here, it's nice to think about it, and of course I thought about it, it's like, what if I open this and I find, uh, I find Luke here. in which case, I, you know, I have a $50 card, or an SP, and I have a, a $70 card, and I pay for the entire lot with just that one card, or I find a, or the Shadow Paladin deck is, like, an old school PBO build or something, yeah, it's nice to think about, but don't make your happiness of a lot like this be based on that because if it is then you're more likely than not going to be disappointed my happiness based on this lot is if the cards are you know 2500 plus that they say they are and it looks looks like it is and that the decks that were supposed to come in came in which they did plus an additional one And that I enjoy the process of opening these, which I mean I do. I know I probably don't sound like I'm all that happy with it right now, but I am. It's just, you know, it's kind of a letdown. I allowed myself to get a little psyched up because I, I was just budding with anticipation what could be in here. And yeah, in the moment, in the moment I definitely can hear it in my own voice. I'm a little disappointed, which I am. But, given a little time, I'll, I'll be very, very happy with all this, so I didn't flip through this one. One of them on, more dark regular, decreep, Lawn's follower, Hell's draw, high speed Brocky at the end, dark regular, dark regular, more dark regular, uh, I've stopped paying attention to the fact that I'm recording this now. I need to... I've, I feel like I've been up here for quite a while. I don't know if I'm going to upload this, honestly. I probably will, still. There's solid pieces in here, which are definitely going to help me make a lot of decks. Just... Nothing competitive in here. There's no gold mine. There's no opening it up and finding a... Oh god, <laughs> what did I even think about? <laughs> uh, don't cross build, yeah. <laughs> don't. If you're gonna go overlord the cross, just hanging out in there. Uh, six copies of the end now. No, no. I'm good with this. A lot of solid pieces, just a lot of a lot of bulk, which seventy dollars. When I saw the price, that's what I immediately thought of was, oh, it's just they they just started the auction at seventy bucks. This can't be anything. Super, super good. Then I thought possibly the auction was started at 70 bucks because they expected it to go higher. And I was like, all right, maybe there's something in here. And I, in that stayed in the back of my mind that maybe there was something in here. Nightmare Doll Amy. Other nightmare doll. <laughs> Move that there. there we go. No. Now I'm just speeding through it. Link Joker. Okay. 
Fear Chronicle. I see a Fear Chronicle card sitting at the top of the stack here. Iron Fanged Gear Hound. That's what I'm really happy for this, is that it gave me Bermuda Triangle cards, you know, Pale Moon, Nova Grappler, we got Link Joker that I just looked through, there's a decent amount of Gear Chronicle here, Kagero, it's just a bunch of other clans that I could start to think about builds for that I didn't even have, you know, common pieces of. Now I got commons of so many of them. Okay, there we go. All right, we got, yeah, Gear Chronicle. Lot of distance running gear horse. And it looks like a lot of Dimension Explosion Colossus. I'm gonna have Starter Steamworker Kuda. Yeah, I'll build a Gear Chronicle deck out of this. There's triggers as well. Are right, there? <laughs> oh. <laughs> yep, no perfect guards. Quintet wall. Oh, four of them. That's all right. I'll, I'll use it. Once again, are there triggers in here? Oh man, a lot of starter timepiece Draco kid. Definitely happy about the Murakumo stuff that came in. Timepiece, timepiece, timepiece. I see triggers behind all this stack, so. Once per turn, Generation Break Stand Trigger. When your opponent's rear guard is put into his or her deck due to an effect from one of your cards, choose one of your units. You may have them gain 10k. That reminds me of the Narukami one, which is when your opponent's unit is retired. Put it back in the deck and give them, uh, give one of your units 10k. Critical Trigger. Draw Trigger. No heal. Uh, I see stands. More stand. More draw. <laughs> Holy Ow. And stand triggers. Uh, no heal. Oh, man, that's ouch. That's <laughs> ouch. All right, this stack. Just finishing it up here. Not a lot of bulk. That's what you get when you take a chance on something like this, you know? It can work out really well. For chance, it was just expected to be bid up. Maybe 70 bucks was really all the person wanted. Just wanted to get out of Vanguard. And, uh, nah. I didn't notice the, uh, I looked for other listings at the time, but I didn't notice all the feedback. And then only after I ordered this did I notice all the feedback. And when I noticed all the feedback, I noticed it was for a lot of Vanguard material. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, yeah. And that's when I kind of figured this would all be, well, worthy of just going through at this rate. <laughs> and yeah, that's when I figured. I still held my hopes that, nah, Maybe this was just a collection purchased for really cheap and then just popped on eBay and sold. Yeah, nah. This has probably been accumulated over time through a lot of those other sales. And then just decided, okay, how to get rid of the bulk. Well, you can pop it all up and someone like me will buy it. And, I mean... I like buying bulk because, like I said, I'm gonna make make decks out of this. For every clan that I don't have that there's enough stuff in here for, I'll make a deck out of it. Make a deck out of that Gear Chronicle. Have the token Ronbu. Make a Shadow Paladin. 
I get Novograph. I get Kagero. Should we get Kagero? That's what's on this one. Yep, more Kagero. Oh, I saw him. Perdition Berserker, uh, Preta. Iron Strike, Demonic Dragon Mage, Taksaka, Mother Orb Dragon, Perdition Sp Sprite, Flare Trooper, Perdition Wyvern, Heroic Saga Dragon. Nice. I had a Kagero build for a little while. I had a Seal Dragon deck that I had purchased from my local store uh, here. I purchased it from my local store for like 50 bucks and it was just because it was a completed Seal Dragon deck. Throw in four copies of uh, a Stride. Oh, the card I was mentioning I saw earlier was Hulk Roar. <laughs> Throw in four copies of a generic Stride and so I had that for a while and I used it for a bit and I liked it, it was alright. You know, seal dragons and stuff. But then I traded it to fellow card fight crazy member Jacob for his gold paladin deck, which I immediately spent like 50, 70 more bucks on to finish Gurguit. But then, <laughs> just like everything else, uh, I didn't pay too much attention when I was purchasing or when I was deciding on what to purchase, that I ignored Scourge Point Dragon. I went for Golden Dragon, Spearcross Dragon instead. And I am not super all right with that. I definitely want to drop two copies of, what's his name? <laughs> Campbell, and two copies of Golden Dragon, Spearcross Dragon to add a uh, Scourge Point because Scorch Point is magnificent. Tachikaze! I'll throw all these dinos Dom's way. And if he wants them, they're just bulk. <laughs> He's got enough of those. Extreme Battler, Rune Hole. Frogmaster, wow, I never want for Frogmasters again. And then Genesis. Oh, look at that! Dion. <laughs> it's the only stride in this box. Final stack. Twilight Arrow Dragon. Another. We have another set of really bent cards here. Bent cards. Twilight Arrow Dragon, Kagero, kind of a last one with the Sunni attacks, a Vanguard of Sunni is boosted, you may pay the cost you do, choose one of your opponents, grade two or less, rear guards and retire it from GBT01. Dragonite Jana, another, whoa, three more copies of Twilight Arrow, Hardship Brawler Toshu, Dancing Princess of the Night Sky, <laughs> Garuda, Eradicator Twin Thunder Dragon, Emerald Blaze. Perdition Dragon, Breakdown Dragon, Heroic Saga Dragon, Light Elemental Peeker, White Rose Musketeer, oh, Battle Maiden, Ameno Hakiri, Knight of Entropy, Beast Deity, Max Beats, happy to have him, Enigma Tornado, New Era Beast Zeal, the uh, Legion with Galactic Beast Zeal, nice. Then we have the Quintet Wall for Musketeers. Battle Maiden Mizuha. Fire Breeze Carry. High Powered Riser Custom. Battle Maiden Mizuha again. Goddess of Trees Jupiter. Dimensional Robo Die Heart. More than a playset. Five copies. Paradise Elk. Cradle of the Stars. Stellar Maker. Schrodinger's Lion. Uh, Carry again. From which Callaway. Goddess of Trees, Jupiter, and From which Callaway. 
If you stuck around to the end, hoping that at the end of the bulk rainbow there'd be this little pot of gold, well, there was... no. <laughs> there wasn't. This was truly an hour-long definition of the word bulk. Well, when you pay 2.8 cents per card, that's really all you can expect. You can always try, and that's what I always, that's what I say to do. Just you know, try. As long as it's not too much, this was, once again, $70. I'd do it again. If I saw another collection like this for $70, less than 100 bucks, I'd do it again. I was, I was willing to pay 100 bucks maximum for this on eBay, and looking back on it now, would I buy this for $100? Honestly, probably. Yeah, I think so. I'm going to get a lot of mileage out of the bulk here because, like I said, I'm going to build an overgrapper deck. I'll build a Pale Moon. I mean, it's not going to be anything special, but it'll just have something for that. Kagero. I'll build I'll build a Link Joker out of this. I'll build a Bermuda Triangle out of this. I'll build a Gear Chronicle. I'll build an Angel Feather. You know, and I'll just have something to test or I'll Paladin to test out of, out of all those clans. And that's that's really what I wanted. I wanted to build a just a massive collection, just a massive. I had before this I had a thousand one hundred eleven cards on the dot. So now I have three thousand five hundred. I don't know. I haven't, I haven't counted this, and I don't think I'm going to. <laughs> this to me, yeah, it looks like it's twenty five hundred, probably more, probably a little more. Best things to come out of this, the witch-based deck because it's the cores. Uh, I like that Twilight Arrow Dragon. Uh, three copies of them. That's just it's just a card I like. I like those styles. You know that when they're boosted, Counterblast one, GB one requirement. Skullmaker Vampire, who's going in my deck immediately after finishing this, and Brutal Jack because I always just I I, I love Brutal Jack. I love Brutal Jack. Just. Just give me all the Brutal Jacks. And Dion. It's nice to have some stride come out of here that was not a part of it. And, you know, being Dion, not being a part of the decks. I mean, Dion being it. That's nice. Guard Griffin as well. <laughs> that's that's alright. And then all the Murakuma stuff. That'll help me with a Shiryuki deck in stride. Shiryuki deck in the Stride era and all that. And Token Rambo, yeah. You know, I can't say I'm disappointed at all with Token Rambo because I've never had it and now I do. I have a working, I don't know, it seems like it might be decent in what the clan can do. Everything else, that was alright. For 70 bucks, would I purchase it again? Yes. The answer is yes. My voice. I hear it too. It sounds disappointing. That's because I am. I wanted there to be something in here that was just going to take it over the edge and push it to like, holy crap, I only got this for $70 and I'm seeing stuff that's worth, you know, hundreds combined, you know, that's worth like 300 combined. No, no, there's no Lambros in here. <laughs> there's no Lukier. There's no... Well, there's just, there's just no anything. <laughs> but that's alright. 70 bucks, it's 2.8 cents per card. If it is 2,500 exactly, I think it's probably more. More than 2,500, so it's less, you know, probably somewhere around 2.5 cents per card. 2.4, maybe 2.2. But you know, when you get down there, it's 3 cents versus 2 cents per Per card, every single one, every single one is just mm, Brutal Jack for three cents, Dion for three cents, Dokabe for three cents, Attain for three cents, Skullmaker Vampire for three cents. You know, and that's that's wonderful. Peekaboo for three cents. <laughs> that's wonderful. So, thank you for watching this video, and from Joey at Card Fight Crazy, I'm telling you, stay crazy.